What's up guys? I hope you're doing well. The theme for this week was relationships. And if you're new to the series, in these videos we talk about things that we hate. Things that we're just not about that life. For example, when you have a really like passionate couple, the last thing I want to do when I'm walking down the street is see a couple, you know, getting really into it. Let's keep things classy here. When X messages you on Facebook and you keep ignoring it, but then she messages you, I know you be seeing my messages though. Not about that life. I don't know because I've never been in one. Don't be the Dwight Howard in your relationship. Don't say you want to break up, then the next day say you want to stay together. Move too quickly. No, I don't want to marry you. Then two days later, say you want to break up. The heck? Oh my god, I love him. We are going to get married. We are going to have babies. My first kid is going to be called David. You know, I look away for 10 seconds and it's over. A very important aspect to any relationship is compatibility. You want to make sure that your morals are very similar and also that your interests don't conflict. For an example, if you're a vegetarian wanting to date someone who likes to hunt and fish, uh, one of you is not going to be about that life. People my age, when they get into a relationship with someone, two days later they go, Hi, I love you. You are 12 years old. And that's not the age where you're supposed to find a serious relationship. How can you just date someone for like two days and let love each other? They don't even know what love is. I don't even know what love is. Go play in the kindergarten or something because you're 12 years old. Your friend hits you up and he's like, hey, you want to go to a party with me? And he pulls up and he's with his girl. Any involvement at FSU, I'm not about that life. They're always doing that little couple thing. When you go up to them, they're always talking to each other. After like... 30 minutes being together, they feel the need to profess their undying love to each other on Facebook. If you're interested in me, go ahead and say that you're interested. I'm not about that life for the one reason that when people do that, you know that relationship is doomed. Don't act like you're interested. Come by, see me every day, ask me what I do on my weekend, find out what I like to do. I mean, if you're going to ask all this information, might as well ask me out, right? Time spent in the restroom putting on freaking makeup. You go like red lipstick right there and got a little, little, what do you call it? Formation, a little bit. No, no, you're not supposed to spend so much time in the rest of doing your makeup. You're already beautiful. How about that? Life? I don't want to wait for her, and then I'm gonna be late to the movie, and I'm gonna have to find a seat next to an elderly couple, and that's just gonna suck. They'll grab daddy room chair, put it right in front of the TV. They'll buy one of those fold out chairs from freaking Walmart, stick it right in front of the TV. They'll have six or seven sodas going on. I just don't understand why it has to look like an episode from the TV show Horkers before y'all pick something up. Make plans with someone, like you talk to them about it. Two or three days later, you're like, yeah, we still doing that thing that we plan. I didn't know if we were doing it for sure, so I made plans with so-and-so. Not about that life. We have been dating for two days, and he is just amazing. The heck? Are you serious? You're hanging out with your friends, and she calls, and she needs to see you immediately? Well, yeah, if it's an emergency. But you go to see her, and it's like she needs help moving some stuff. Not about that life, either. She makes saying the word love such a big deal. I love you. I love you too, bitch. Say it like you mean if it. If you never had an argument with your significant other to the point where y'all was about to break up, you ain't ready. She's horrible at pretending like she cares about my interests. I love football. I'm watching basketball. I love basketball. There's nobody else for me in this world. This man has been the best man of my life. I love this guy. I'm gonna marry him next month. Really? She lotions herself to death. What are you trying to be so slippery for? Yo, guys a lot these days just don't care about relationships. Yo, hey girl, what's your name? I'm just like, I have a boyfriend. And then they're like, I don't care. On Facebook, you don't need to constantly put every day. I love my boyfriend. I love my girlfriend. I love him. I love her. Blah, 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 blah. He's so amazing. This is like Bill Gates constantly putting on Facebook. I have more money than you have. We know this. You don't need to state this. Thank you. She texts him, he texts her back, and she calls him, and she calls him again, and then she calls him again. What the? I gotta keep it clean and fresh to death. You're not gonna have my girlfriend get a text message by no guy past, what, 11.59. Mm-mm. I am definitely not about that life. People who are in relationships, you shouldn't forget about your friends. Like, three months from now, when y'all break up, don't say, oh my god, I miss you. She keeps calling him, bugging him about when he's gonna come home. How you get with me in the first place? If you don't keep bugging me and not trust me. I personally am not about that life. When a guy is with his girlfriend, Friend, and he's staring at you. What are you supposed to do? Oh my goodness, Margarita. I just seen the status out there that you put on Facebook and you said Carlos is so stupid. What happened? What happened? What happened? And then the guys do the same exact thing, but I guess in a different sense. They want to go ahead and go on Facebook and be like, yo, man, this girl is so stupid. Oh, she doesn't nag and complain. Shut up. Shut, shut up. We're not going to go up to you and be like, oh, hey, you're so hot. What's your name? No. Not gonna happen. Please do not start asking me questions like, does this look good on me? You think this goes with those shoes? Think this matches this and that? Uh, girl, I have no idea what matches. You know I don't know what matches. You know anything I say, you're gonna do the opposite of anyway. Don't ask me any more questions. You look like a jerk. Keep your eyes on your girlfriend. 
Give her attention. That's what she's there for. She should be the prettiest thing to you. You shouldn't be checking out other girls when you're with her. I'm not about that life. You have a controlling girlfriend who says that you cannot have any female friends, you cannot talk to any female friends, and you cannot even be around any sort of females. Otherwise, you're gonna be yelled, you're gonna get yelled at for 47 minutes straight on the phone. I don't know about all you girls, but I don't want to be going around picking up socks and picking up dirty clothes off my kitchen table. Boys, you need to throw that crap up in that hamper. That's what they're for. Log into Facebook, and what do you see? You see her flirting with 97 billion other guys and then you call her you're like why are you talking to these guys what gives you the right to be talking to guys and i can't even call my aunt without you thinking that i'm cheating on you like seriously not about that life when like exes get back together like they broke up for a reason and they get back together despite them not fixing whatever reason they broke up with in the first place no matter how bad that the guy treats her no matter how big of a douchebag he is or how much he takes advantage of her. They just stick with him. Not about that life. If my boyfriend is coming home late and I don't know where he's been, I'm gonna ask. It may seem like I'm nagging, but really I just care. I find that some people are only in relationships for the sake of it or because they just don't want to be alone. What really annoys me is when they only think they're worth something when they're in one. I was raised that if you take a girl out on a date, say to a movie or out to dinner, you pay for their stuff. That's just how it is. But some of you girls are so bad about not wanting to get paid for like it's some big deal that I couldn't even buy Buy this one girl a soda at a gas station. The heck? I cannot stand a guy getting jealous on me. I cannot stand it when a woman is jealous. It shows me that they don't trust me and I've never given a guy a reason not to trust me. People who constantly complain about how they're single. No one wants to be with somebody who's constantly complaining about everything. It's, it's depressing. We do not know how to communicate. You have to communicate for me to understand you. If you are mad about something, you cannot expect me to read your mind. I'm sitting here on my new iPhone that I just got for you so we could iMessage with all these emojis and you're like K. You're playing Call of Duty. MW3, MW2, Black Ops, whatever. You're in beast mode. You're killing anything in your pack. Your girlfriend decides to send you 16 different text messages, probably all of them saying the same exact thing. Hello, are you there? What's up? Hello? Then she calls you 18 seconds later and you're forced to answer. You get thrown off your game and you die 17,000 times. Don't get mad when I beat you in Madden. It happens sometimes. They're not dating, but they're exclusive. What does that mean? indicate? We're out together on a date and someone calls you and it happens to be a girl, unless it's your mother, you're sister, your grandmother, your niece, or somehow your daughter, do not pick it up. If I want to complain about how my day's been, maybe I just want to get it off my chest. Maybe I feel like since you're my boyfriend that you will listen. Don't look at me and tell me to suck it up and that you've had a worse day and then start ranting on about how bad your day was. A clingy, intense guy who just calls you. It's like, oh baby, but we haven't talked all day. Like, oh baby, I haven't seen you all day. Like, I get that. That's beautiful and that's sweet and that's like, oh, that's so nice of you and they're so in love but it's seriously after a while I, I need my own space you know but generally if a woman asks you a question she already knows the answer why is there this whole secret language one thing you definitely never want to hear in a relationship is we need to talk not about that life don't leave this much milk in the milk container and put it back in the fridge that's annoying that's not even a relationship problem that's a life problem in all honesty is it that hard to put down the toilet seat after you pee. And if it is, just let me know. But is it really? I feel like it's just as hard for guys to put the seat down as it is for girls to lift it up. In fact, I think we have to do more work, actually, because we're going, we're pushing it up. You know, that, that requires more effort to me. All you got, boop, that's all you got. I'm off topic. The theme for this week was relationships. You guys did a great job responding. It's funny, though, because the theme was relationships, but everyone took that as meaning being in a relationship. Think about it, you have a relationship with a whole bunch of different people. But hey, I'll stay on topic. Let's say you date someone for a long time. Maybe you're dating someone for a long time. Maybe your friend's dating someone for a long time. And as soon as you guys break up, they date someone else. The heck? That just makes the whole relationship look pointless like it wasn't worth anything if you're just gonna go ahead and date someone a couple weeks later this is the rule that you need to go by take how long you guys dated in months divide it by four that's how many months you need to wait for a date someone else dancing with someone else if i'm in a relationship my girlfriend is not gonna be dancing with anyone else no no you go ballroom dancing salsa dancing all you want go ahead that's fine with me but you're not gonna be up in the club grinding other men that's gonna cause two fights we're gonna get an argument then i'm gonna have to find the guy you were dancing with slap him two times i can't beat everyone i'm not that big i cannot beat everyone i'm gonna get Get beat down because I, I don't want to do Why that. Why can't you just realize that I'm coming home to you and that that's all that matters and that I love you? Not about that life. And finally, alcohol. It's one thing to drink alcohol. Go out with your friends, socialize, have a good time. It is a completely different thing to get snook face sloppy, get yourself into a bad situation, and jeopardize our relationship. Please know the difference. And that's all I got for this week. Next week's theme is video games. But 
It's gonna be limited to only female. Only females need to respond. So women, what do you hate about video games? Leave a video response to this video and you could be on the neck not about that life. Some things to keep in mind. No music, no text on the screen, no cussing. You must leave a video response to this video. It must be Creative Commons, not standard YouTube license. And you must say that this is the video response to Scooter Magoo and include the secret phrase, which this week the secret phrase is, I know what you're saying. Just like that, just like that. I know what you're saying. And if it's possible, do it in one take or as few cuts as possible because it makes it so much easier to edit. Let's go with the deadline of Friday, 11.59 p.m. But before I get out of here, where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. I uh, you know Amsterdam. I'm British. I'm from Colombia, South America. New video Sundays and Wednesdays? Who got my swaggo? Throw me the alley. You get two identical resumes. Do you hire Thomas Smith or do you hire Ladenavian Smith? Stop jeopardizing your child's future with these names. I'm a grown man. Not about that life. Nope, I don't like that. I knew that was going to be too nope. much. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah.